Hi, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. Um, last week, you'll remember, I talked about how to dry out neoprene boots and gloves. Well, this week, I'm going to look at how you take them off quickly, because sometimes that can take almost as long as the dip itself. Well, I would say it's a lovely morning, but it's not. It's uh, raining a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me but it was really belting it down a few minutes ago. I'm hoping it holds off, but to be honest, I'm getting and I'm getting wet, so it doesn't massively matter. I've been wanting to get in for a swim for quite a few days now. Um, I haven't swum, I don't think, since the 1st of January, uh, because I went away, I looked for a swim, but didn't find it when I was snowboarding. You'll see that in one of my other videos. Um, and after that, I've had a chest infection, so, from, uh, from my investigations into it previously, apart from the fact I didn't feel like having a swim, I know that you shouldn't swim if the, the cold or whatever you've got is on the chest. So I've waited it out, now's the time. I'm gonna get in for a swim. Wow, that makes it sound really windy. I mean, there's a bit of wind. But not that much. These trees here are making it sound really windy. Well, let's get in. I wonder if Mr. Sammy the Seal will be around to join me. So at least it looks like the rain's cleared up. One thing I'm excited about today is to test out a new method of getting my gloves off quickly, which would be a revelation if it works properly. Right. I'm uh, suited and booted, swimsuit, uh, wetsuit boots and gloves that is, and I'm ready to go reacquaint myself with the sea. I think it's just going to be a bit of a dip today, but I'm just excited to get in there and be out and about in nature. So this technique is all about trying to loosen off your gloves because if you pull at the fingers or kind of rip at the cuffs you can end up damaging the watertight integrity and uh, the glue and make them loose and then they don't really work properly. So the, uh, the technique is to stick your thumb inside, get a thumb into your palm, oops, as far as you can, then I'm going to blow into that gap. Might need to do it a couple of times. Second time lucky. Okay. Still a bit of a wrestle. See if I can do better on the second time. So, thumb in, make a little gap, and Well, I think you'll agree that that was a quicker technique than the one where I kind of wrestled them off the first time I tried those gloves. Give it a go, let me know what you think. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video and if you have, you'll click the like button and also hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding the bell, then you'll know when the next one's out. And I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.